What's up? What's going on? What's good? The Boston Sewer Chicken in here. I want to talk about this topic. Looks like there's something going on with the former WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder signing to Matchroom Boxing? What? Now, this stems from uh, reports that were circulating in reference to Deontay Wilder um, having a fight against Zelay Zhang uh, there in the heavyweight division and that they were scheduling that particular bout to be on June 1st. And that is the um, fight card that will have, of course, the Dimitri Bivol and Arthur Bedebiev uh, fighting for the Undisputed Light Heavyweight Championship, but it's also part of the uh, five versus five that is supposed to be with Queensbury and Matchroom. And so I guess what they have here is that you're going to have Zelay Zhang representing Queensbury Promotions and Deontay Wilder representing Matchroom Boxing. And with that being said, they also had reports out that Deontay Wilder is involved in a multi-fight deal with Matchroom Boxing that would include or potentially include a future bout with Anthony Joshua. And so this one is kind of like a surprising news, at least to me it is, uh, because you had, of course, a long-standing rivalry between Deontay Wilder and his representatives over the course of multiple years and Matchroom Boxing, Anthony Joshua, and especially Eddie Hearn. So um, seeing this as news being released out is kind of, you know, surprising to me. Um, will it lead to maybe that fight between Wilder and Joshua later down the line? I mean, we'll see. Uh, you know, we got to check with a couple of, uh, you know, people that, you know, are closer to the camps there on uh, respective um, uh, sides there when it comes to Deontay Wilder. Uh, of course, with his, you know, team, uh, his management and everything like that. And, of course, with Anthony Joshua and 258 Management. I know that, you know, he's pretty much building his way back to becoming world champion again. Of course, he had that uh, easy victory over Francis Ngannou uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, looking forward to having another fight here real soon. You know, probably around July or something like that. Could be against Philip Hergovich. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. Um, because, you know, they're trying to fit in Philip Hergovich. Uh, to go up against Daniel Dubois on that same June 1st card. So if that pretty much does take place, then, you know, we'll see what happens there with Anthony Joshua in, in the uh, near future. But if you do have Deontay Wilder going up against Zelay Zhang on that June 1st card and being involved, so to speak, with matchroom boxing, uh, that could, you know, lead to, you know, that potential fight between him and Anthony Joshua and you know, people still want to see that fight. They still want to see that fight, you know, given what has happened here recently with Deontay Wilder and, of course, with Anthony Joshua going on a winning streak of sorts here ever since his loss in the rematch to Alexander Usyk. Uh, what was that, back in uh, August of, what, 2022? Yeah, so um, it looks like, you know, Joshua's on his way up and it seems like Wilder's on his way down. But we got to see how Deontay Wilder performs here against Zelay Zhang, if he faces Zelay Zhang on June 1st, especially coming off of his loss to Joseph Parker at the Day of Reckoning last December. Um, I, I thought that was, you know, a pretty surprising performance coming out of uh, Deontay Wilder uh, there on that night. And, you know, it just makes it, um, you know, really interesting to see how Deontay Wilder fares here in 2024. So with that being said, if we see Deontay Wilder uh, dealing with um, Eddie Hearn, that's going to be a crazy sight for people to see if that is the case. But, um, you know, I, I'm just waiting to see if that actually happens. But uh, I think it's uh, some really interesting news, to say the least. Uh, you can go ahead and share your thoughts on that potential uh, pairing. Deontay Wilder and Eddie Hearn uh, there. Oh, yeah, I still don't, I still don't uh, believe that one. It, that's wild. But you can go ahead and share your thoughts on it. Uh, by leaving a comment. Uh, if you like the content here on The Boxing Source, you can hit us with a like, you can hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate it here. Uh, and until next time, I will catch y'all later.